Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. Thank you so much for joining in today. We are working on the front porch, getting everything ready for spring and summer this morning. I am excited about this video. I've actually been working on it for a while. So you will notice a lot of outfit changes and things like that because I've just worked on it a little bit at a time. I did some pretty big refreshes, big to me. Painted the front door, I painted the shutters. I painted a little side table with planted flowers, trimmed up all the shrubs and all that stuff, cleaned. So anyway, I'm just going to take you along with me, hopefully give you a little inspiration if you are needing to get your front por porch in order for spring and summer. This is one of my favorite places in our home. I wanted a big front porch when we built our house. So I'm excited to get it decorated and ready for spring and summer. We've got a beautiful day today. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. It just lets YouTube know that you enjoy my videos and you want to see them. And it helps my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you that watches. I love it when you comment and talk to me. I just love talking with y'all and getting to know you and meeting you. So be sure and leave a comment for me. Let me know where you're watching from. But let's quit talking. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started decorating the porch. And I hope you enjoy the video. So here is what we are starting out with. I painted these doors several years ago, right around when COVID shut everything down. I painted them. I actually painted this handle too. You can see that didn't turn out too well. And the dogs, this little culprit right here, knocks on the door all the time. He wants us to let him come inside the garage. He doesn't come inside the house, but he has a bed in the garage and he will knock on that door. And so he has made a mess of it. So I'm going to paint the front door and then also want to paint these shutters. They are very faded. You can just see they used to be a very dark kind of I don't know a brownish grayish color but they were very dark now the ones under the porch here are not as bad the ones on the very front of the house are very faded so they definitely need a little spruce up so i'm thinking i'm just going to paint them to match the door so I am just starting out by giving everything a really good wipe down. I just made up a little spray bottle with some warm water, a few drops of Dawn dish soap, and some vinegar. And I'm just wiping everything down, getting all that pollen off. Is pollen terrible in your area? I'm hoping maybe things are starting to settle down a little bit because everything now is pretty much bloomed here, but the pollen is unreal on our porch and on our deck. So I'm just wiping that down. And then I just made a bucket with some clear water and I'm just going to wipe it all down and rinse it with just plain water. Next, I'm just gonna take this old sanding block. I'm gonna wrap a little bit of sandpaper around it, just some 220 grit sandpaper, just lightly sand over the entire door just to give the new paint a little something to grip onto. And then I'm just gonna use my cordless heart tools um, sander it's a little detail sander on those bottom parts where i showed you the dog had scratched because i just want a nice smooth surface you don't have to sand this completely down or anything but you just want to kind of scuff it up Apparently, I forgot to record that, but here's what it looks like after I got it all sanded down, and I can just run my hand over those spots, and I feel that it's smooth, so I am ready to paint. First of all, though, I am going to use some of this frog tape. This is my favorite tape to use for taping off. I hate taping off, honestly, but I'm going to go ahead and tape off this glass. This is the paint that I'm going to use. I honestly just went to Sherwin-Williams, told them what I was planning to do. They actually just told me any of their outdoor paint would be fine, but they gave me this one just because they were out of the quart size of some of the other ones I was going to get. So here, if you want to take a screenshot, is the color. It is tricorn black, and as you can see, this label says it's not recommended for use on vinyl. They advised me not to paint my vinyl shutters black, especially. They told me not to paint a really dark color because it could warp the vinyl so they warned me it is not advised but I'm gonna try it anyway because they look terrible and I don't feel like it can get any worse I'm getting started on painting the doors. I am just painting these all by hand with a brush. My favorite brush is the Wooster Shortcut Brush. I get them at Home Depot. They run about $5. I haven't bought one in a while, but I love these brushes. I feel like you can get such a good finish with them. That paired with good paint, it really gives you a nice finish. So I'm doing it all just by hand with a brush because the majority of my door has like those windows and stuff. So I didn't feel like getting a roll and a pan and all that stuff just to do that little bit on the bottom. So I did it all by hand with a brush.
Well, here is how the door turned out. I ended up doing three coats to cover that light color. So I did three full coats. Again, I brushed it all with just the brush. I had somebody accuse me of, that I sprayed it and you saw the videos of me hand painting. So it does have a pretty finish, but let me also say I paint furniture. So I have a lot of experience in that. Here's a better look at the um, shutters and how faded they are and how bad they look. Now these, I did not record the process of painting these, but I did use that same paint and I did spray the shutters. We took them all off of the house and I sprayed them in my shop with my Wagner paint sprayer. I have a Wagner Flexio 5000, sprayed them. They sprayed beautifully. They look amazing. I'm gonna show you in a minute when we get them hung back up, how good they look. So just let me know if you have any questions about this down in the comments. Here is a look at them after. I absolutely love them. I went ahead and did the flat finish on these two. Um, we'll just see. If anybody's interested in me keeping you up to date on how they held up, let me know. I'll be glad to do that. I'm hoping they'll hold up okay. I think these will in under the porch. I'm just hoping the ones that are exposed will hold up as well. Now that we got those bigger projects out of the way, let's get started on decorating and just kind of getting all the furniture in order. I got this little patio set last summer and it the dogs think it's their bed. <laughs> so it looks pretty rough. I left the cushions out this winter. That was a bad idea. I should always put the cushions up in the winter, but I left them out this year so they need a good cleaning. I think they have a zipper. I think you can take off. That's one of the culprits there. I think you can take them off and wash them, but what I'm gonna do is just going to take them over here to the concrete. I'm just going to use some of this Dawn Power Wash. I love this stuff, y'all. It works so well. I also use it on my laundry, but I'm just going to take a good old brush and just spray everything down, spray the Dawn on there, give it a good brush by hand, and then just let it sit out in the sun to dry, and it works wonders. This will come so clean. I had this little side table. It came from Lowe's. I've had it several years. As you can see, it started out red. I spray painted it blue. It's rough. It's got some rust on the bottom. <laughs> it has got, these guys are wanting in on all the action today. It is faded. It's chipped. The top is in bad shape, but I'm just going to give it a fresh coat of paint. I had some of this black spray paint. It's the Rust-Oleum. This to me is the very best spray paint, and I just like a flat finish. Y'all know I just love a flat finish, so I'm just going to put a couple of coats of black paint on that and use it on the front porch. We'll see how long it holds up. Side note, I told you I had a Wagner sprayer. I also have this Wagner spray tent. It is just perfect if you need to spray inside your garage. While that's drying, it looks like it's about to come up a storm. It's getting very black and rumbly in the background, but I have a few more flowers that I wanted to try to get planted, and I thought it would be good if it is going to rain. That way, they could get a little fresh rain on them after I plant them. So here's a little reminder of some of the planters that I made up. They are thriving, y'all, right now, but we have not got to the, like, hot, hot, humid Tennessee heat yet, but right now they're looking so good. I just had something I wanted to add to this one. I felt like it was just a little bit bare. I wanted to add some of these purple flowers. Y'all, I don't even know the name of them, but I wanted to add those in there. And then I have another planter over here. This is just some creeping Jenny that I had um, dug up from a planter from last year. It actually had survived, so I'm going to put it there in that little hole in the front, and then I had this whole planter that I needed to plant. I got that at Home Depot last year, so I just picked up a couple of different flowers that I wanted to put in there. I was just going to put those, but then I had a little bit of the lantana left over and a little bit more of the creeping Jenny, so I thought I would just make it a whole little container. So let's see if we can get that done before it rains. If you missed it, I have a whole video on planting all of those other flowers that I just showed you and the planters that I have this year. I'm hoping they'll do well a lot of times. Like I said, once the summer heat hits, I have a really hard time keeping things looking good around here. So this year I was hoping to like kind of keep them sitting back on my porch, maybe shade them a little bit, and I bought everything for full sun. So I'm hoping everything will work, but I do have an entire video about that. I'll link it down in the caption.
Well, y'all, it pure fell a flood. So I just gave up out here. Look at the mess it left. It made a huge mess. I didn't even really get done planting. Um, I still have to put this one in. It just fell a flood. So I kind of gave up for the day. So this is a totally different day. So we're going to finish up and get the rest of these flowers planted. And then we're just going to clean up this porch. So I got a new front door rug. This is an indoor outdoor rug. It's from Laloy. This is the Malibu collection with Amber Lewis. This is a beautiful rug. I love the fringe detail. I love the neutral colors. And the best part is you can just hose this thing off with a water hose, which I y'all know I will have to do because you saw um, what a mess those dogs make of the front porch. So this will be so easy to keep clean. I'm excited about that. And it looks so good in front of the double front doors. I have always been really bad to just buy the cheap, small little doormats. And they are too small for this double door. Now, I may end up getting a smaller one to put on top of this. Y'all let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think this is good just the way it is? It's a little bit lightweight. So, I may have to put some little rug grippers in under it. But I was thinking if I bought just kind of a welcome mat or something like that to put down in the middle you know maybe that would hold it down too but I actually need like a bigger one than just the usual ones that you see they had a really pretty scalloped one and it came in a bigger size it was my Texas house at Walmart well I didn't get it at the beginning of summer and it has been sold out for ages so if y'all see anything good let me know down in the comments any suggestions you have or do you just like it like it is if so let me know I'm thinking I might just get some rug grippers and leave it the way it is. Well, after all that cleaning, y'all, we're just about in the same shape that we were in to begin with. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to sort of straighten this up, dust it off the best I can, and um, I'm not going to clean it all again because I just did that. Now, these pillows came from Home Depot last year. I like the blue. I love the texture on them. They're looking pretty rough, though. They actually do have a zipper, so you could take that off and wash it, but I'm thinking about maybe just ordering some new pillow covers off of Amazon or something like that, some outdoor covers, and just doing a different look here. But for now, I'm just going to use these, but I'm thinking about looking for something else. Now, I'm thinking some bright color because our house is pretty far off the road, and I'm thinking like some brightly colored floral pillows, something like that, maybe just to really add some color down here on this end of the porch. Moving on down to the other end of the porch, I have a pretty white glider. I got that glider at Sam's Club several years ago. It's it's getting to be a little bit rough, but we have loved it. And then I got that stool there at the thrift store. It was only like $4, I think, last year. And then that's the black table that I painted. So I'm just going to put it on the other side of the glider. Um, I just have a little table topper, not a table topper. <laughs> I'm using it as a table topper, but it's really just like a little charger that came from the dollar store. But I just put it on top of one of these tables just to um, like set our drinks and stuff like that on. And I was sort of just getting these pillows all fluffed up. And I remembered that at Aldi last week, I picked up a new cushion for the bench, a seat cushion. It was only $20 at Aldi. And I went ahead and got it because like I said, this was getting a little bit bit rough so when you sat down it was you know the paint was starting to chip and stuff like that so this worked perfectly
I also picked up this little guy at Aldi. It was $6.99. It's just like a little serving board, but I ended up moving that charger over to the top of the black table, and then I set this one on top of the stool, and then I just have a citronella candle. That's a Better Homes and Gardens candle. Just gonna sit that right on top. If you live in the South, you know you gotta have the citronella. And then y'all remember I told you I wanted to hang some ferns, but they always fall and the hooks get twisted out. Well, my father-in-law gave me the solution. He had some of these that he had ordered for his ferns. You can get them on Amazon. I'm gonna link any of this stuff that I can down in the description box, but these will just twist with the wind. So I'm hopeful that this is gonna be better. We just have our hook in the top there. We did some chains just to add a little bit of length there. And then we put that little swivel hook on the bottom. I'm just gonna hang my ferns up here and I will let y'all know how this works but I'm hopeful that this is the solution I've been needing because there's just something about beautiful ferns hanging on a front porch in the south that is just perfect to me. Here are a couple of views of the finished product. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. I especially love the front door. I think the shutters look great. I really hope that those are gonna hold up. Let me know down in the comments, have you ever painted shutters before? Did you have a good or bad experience? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. I'll be sure and link that new rug down in the description box for you and anything else that I can. I just would love for you to jump in in the comments, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. How's the weather there? Is it already hot and summer there? Are you still having some nice spring weather? I feel like we've been getting quite a bit of rain, but we're already starting to see some of those really hot muggy days too. So we're looking forward to getting our pool installed soon. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be working on the back patio. I have a spring home tour coming up. So lots of exciting videos and feel free to let me know down in the comments anytime you have an idea of anything you would like to see from my channel. Tell me your favorite videos. I love to hear your feedback. I had to show y'all my hydrangea bush. This came from my grandma's house. She passed away a few years ago and the summer before she passed away, she literally dug me up a piece of her hydrangeas and I planted it here. They have done pretty good, but we had a really, really bad winter um, winter before last and they didn't bloom at all last year. So I'm so happy to see some blooms on those this year. That is all I have for today's video, y'all. If you made it this far, I'm so thankful for you. Thank you so much for watching and joining in while I worked on my front porch. I hope maybe this gave you some motivation to get some stuff done at your own home. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Don't forget, I do upload a new video every Thursday. So come back next week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed. And I will see y'all then. Bye.